Unhinged day trading. We are gonna take a raw look and who are we gonna look at to help us illustrate what unhinged trading looks like, what trading looks like when you shouldn't actually be doing it. Uh, we're gonna look at me. So it's a little context here. I do live trading videos. I have a playlist where it's just me recording live and that's what I wanna show you here but I wanna turn this into a more special one because this one I think is very unique. I guess in kind of an embarrassing way, but you know what, it is what it is, it's an educational channel, so I hope that you can learn from it. But at the very end of this video, I sit there and question, you know, I don't know if I should have been trading still. I don't know, and at the time, I was still in the heat of the moment because that's why these are very raw. They're live, they're in the heat of the moment. So I, but I admitted, you know, I'm gonna have to reflect on this. I'm gonna have to think about whether or not I should have stopped, should I should have been trading, and yes, it is now the next day, I've slept on it, I've reflected on it, I've tried to lie to myself about it, but I'm gonna be honest about it. Yeah, I should not have been trading. You'll see why first, I mean, you'll just understand why, but what I want you to notice is how I behave, how I'm acting like, oh, everything's just okay. Oh, let's just keep on going and going and going and it, that's this is not what you wanna look. So this is not what you want your trading to look like, but that's the tricky part is, your mind can be very good at making it look like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going with it. But like I said, in, in hindsight and in reflection now on it, I should have been done trading, I was unhinged, I was just all over the place, it was not a good day. So if you wanna see what unhinged day trading looks like, well, you're about to see it. This is a very long video, which kind of just illustrates how unhinged I was. To know that I traded for this long with this many trades, yeah, not good. So let's take a raw look with me as the clown. I have an order at 48 for a call option. So yes, I'm doing options here. If you don't know what I mean when I say that, let me know in the cop uh, comments. I can just put guide, please. And I'll link you to a free class that I put together called the big basics of options. Options can, they kind of have a reputation of being complicated and they can be, but they don't need to be. And I approach them in a more simplified way. So if you like to approach things more simplified, uh, then like I said, let me know in the comment section and I will give you that guide, walk you through terminology, how things work, and it'll give you a much better grasp of what's going on here. All right, so let's see if the price wants to pull back a bit more. I will pause for now. I have an order at 51.50 here for a call. Try to play this range. So the price does need to come down a bit more. And I'm at 51.50 for a call. I will go ahead and pause. I'll keep a close eye on it though. Have an order for a put at 53.10. Yeah, let's go to 52.10 now. Or do I just try to hop? Try one at 55 here, a put. All right, never mind on that one. Well, I tried up around that area looking like some weakness, but never quite got filled, so never mind. I will pause. All right, gonna throw an order out here at 53. And I'm in at 53, a put. Out for $50. So let's go to 50.10 now. I like to start the process over again. So if this price wants to come up some more, then I will be ready for it. I will go ahead and pause, but a nice little quick $50. Have an order at 55.10 here for a call. Looking for this thing to pull back a bit more. And when it's starting to come down relatively quickly. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. I have an order at 52.50 here for a put. I'm right, gonna cancel that out now and just go to 50.10. I will pause. I have an order at 53.50. Oh, it's close. So let's go to 53.10 now. All 
I'm at again 5310 now. Okay, that's what I needed, so gotta go to 5210 now. And I'm at 5210. Nope, that's what I needed. So now I gotta go to 50. I'm looking for the bursts and I gotta get filled on those bursts. If I'm not, then I have to reassess. So I'll go ahead and pause. All right, gonna try for put here at 53. In at 53. Try to pick it up another one here at 51. Got that. Try to get the one there at 50. Got that, very good. Got that. Got those. Let's see what this thing wants to do here. This can get up above 49.50, I will be good. All right, I'll pause for now and I'll keep you updated. Okay, for a second I was looking like, okay, they were, was approaching the 49s. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, maybe here, trying to work its way up into the 49s. Okay, took out a couple there.
So I was able to take off a couple, but not a whole lot. So I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, maybe again here. Okay, got those out. Come on, get up those 4970s. So it's just not quite making that final move that I need. Oh, I'm just going to have to take that out. So $580 loss on that one. Bummer. I got the move, got the move, got the move. And then you saw it just didn't want to. Oh, don't do it to me now. Oh, don't do it. And there are. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's going to come down, isn't it? Yep, there it is right there. Would have taken me out of some. Oh, that's, un well, you know, and I, I, I panicked out of that one because my stop should have been above those highs. And I, I just assumed it was going to go to those highs. It did not. Came back down. So I'd at least been able to take off a couple more. Well, I'm glad I took off a couple small green to reduce my risk. But yeah, no, nope, there it was. Would have been fine. Well, that's that's discouraging. And there it is. That's why you don't assume that the price is going to go up through your levels. My stop was above those highs. It did start to come up and I was looking at a big green candle thinking, oh, it's definitely going to break those highs. And it did not. It came back down and uh, that would have given me green. That is definitely discouraging. I, just discouraging because I, I, I know better than that. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 47. in there at 47. For a put. and out for $50. All right, I'll pause. Have an order at 43.70 for a put. All right, I'm gonna go to 42.70 now. It's close for a second. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, I have an order at 42.10 for a put. I will pause. Have an order at 48.50 for a call. So the price needs to come down a bit more. I will pause. Will I pause? I just saw him was best on bid. All right, I will pause. Have an order at 49.50 here for a call. Forty-nine ten, I think we'll have that order at forty-nine ten. Maybe this will be the time where I get filled. All right, I'll pause. Okay, I'm at 49.10 still. Will this be the time I get filled? Mm, 
Never mind again. Have an order at 5250. Got that. A call that is. Gonna try for one at 51. Okay, got that. Try for one down there at 49. Forty-nine fifty. Okay, got that. So let's see a bit of a bounce here. See if we can get a bit of a bounce. There at fifty one. There we can do fifty one twenty. I try for another one down there at forty nine fifty. Got that. See if we can get some sort of bounce here. I will pause for now. I know this is already a pretty long video. I'll keep you updated. Okay, gonna try to pick up another one down here at 48. All right, I will once again pause. All right, maybe I can get filled at that 48 one. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna try for 4850, I got that. So let's see if we can finally get a bounce here. I like the formation. All right, I will pause. Okay, we have, well, for a second, it was looking like 50 might come into play. I'll go ahead and pause. Okay, we're maybe getting up in the 49s. We were for a minute. All right, I will pause. Okay, maybe here. I'll pause. Okay, we are over 49. For a second we were. All right, I'll pause. All right, maybe here. Just needed to break up through the top part of this channel. All right, I'll pause. All right, maybe. There we got out some there. Once again, it's right up to where I want them to get out, but I was only able to get out two of them. We'll see if it wants to return back up there. All right, I'll pause. All right, maybe gonna give another try here. This area is so stubborn. All right, I'll pause. All right, maybe again. I will pause. All right, maybe. And never mind again. Okay, maybe. There we go, took out a couple more. See if it wants to push up some more. See if it can push. All right. So I ended up with a $30 loss on that one. Honestly, I don't know how that's quite possible. How did I still lose money on that? I'm right, going to pick up a put here because I think this thing wants to come down.
and I have a put now. So I was wanting the price to go up, but now I want it to come down. And I think it will come down. So out there for, oh, okay, 53. So 10 bucks on that one. I thought I had a different order in there, but. So that was basically uh, just a nothing burger. All right, I'll pause. Kevin, okay, or I already bought at 48 a call. And bought at 48. Just trying to get out for 20 bucks now, and this is being difficult. Wow. So it got out for 20 bucks, way more harder than it seemed like it should have been. If this wants to come down some more, I'll be ready for another call. I'll pause. I have an order at 43.10, in at 43.10 for a call. and out for $50 on that one. I'll go ahead and pause. I totally just forgot to hit record. I took another trade, only lasted a few seconds uh, for just $50 sniper shot. Um, but like I said, I forgot to hit record, so I did not capture that one, but I just put another 50 bucks in the pocket. I have an order at 54.10. Oh, look at that, bounced beautifully off that yellow line. My entry point was a little off though in terms of what the price of the option was gonna be. So I'm gonna go to 52.10 now at this point. I will pause. Have an order at 44.70. It was getting close for a moment. So we'll go to 42.70 now, because this is clearly some pretty crazy action. I will pause. All right, gonna try for one here at 45.50. For a put that is, all right, didn't get that. At this point, let's just play for a break to the upside further. I need to be a little bit more conservative anyway, so 4270, there we go. So I'm at 4270, I will pause. Have an order at 4270, I'm in and out for $80. If you blinked, you missed it. Let's go to 3970 now and we'll read Repeat the process over. Again, I know that was super fast, but, oh, well, that's all hindsight there. Cause this is getting crazy action here. Okay, there is a quick $80, like I said, in literally seconds. Have an order at 35.10. It was very, very close to getting filled, but I, not, I did not get filled. So now I gotta go to 33.10 at this point. I was close a couple times on the bid, but did not get filled. I will pause. I have an order at 49 here. I was close. Oh, there we go. In at 40. Well, no, I don't want that. 49.50 is what I want.
Let's see if I can get one at 47, 50. Got that out at 48.50. And took that one out at 48.52. All right, so uh, ultimately I was at about a $50 trade. I will try again. 70, so yeah, it's got a ways to go. It's up around that area. So we'll go to 3970. There we go. All right, I will pause for now. Have an order at 3910, in at 3910 for a put. And out for $90 on that one. Let's go to 34.10. Making sure that 32.10, there we go. So 32.10, we'll see if it can come up some more. I will pause for now. Got an order at 30.70. I will go ahead and pause. Well, never mind. I'll keep it going. No, I don't like that. I'm going to play it more conservative. 2870 now. I will pause. I'm going to throw an order out there at 39.50 for a put. I'll pause. I'm right, gonna try for a one here at 38.70. Oh, not fast, it came back. I will pause. Okay, maybe here. No, taking way too long to fill. No way am I gonna let myself get filled on that. I'll look for just a bigger move up through there. I will pause. I'm gonna try for, put here at 36. In at 36 and out for $50 there very quickly. Wait, what was it? No, that's not right. How can this be up over 40? What in the world just happened there? Am I, I got in at 36, got out at 36.50 and then I looked over here and it was up over 40. And it, even right now it's up over 39. What am I missing? I'll have to scroll back. That was literally, it filled me. I think I like said, I'll have to scroll back, but unless I did, I change strike prices. No, that's what I, wow. That's kind of just shoving it right in my face there. Like I said, filled me. And then as far as I can tell, went like three or $4 right in my favor. I will definitely have to watch that, rewatch that one again. All right, I'll pause. Well, that's all she wrote. Um, today was a clown fiesta, uh, really was. Um, that first trade, arguably, probably should have been done after that very first, I don't, what's the first trade? The one that didn't quite work out and I lost like 500 bucks on, I don't remember, I, I can't even remember. Um, like I said, I'm not willing to commit to it, I'll have to kind of reflect on it, but I think it's a very real possibility that maybe I should have just been done after that trade uh, because from that point forward, everything just felt, like I said, I don't know how else to describe it other than a clown fiesta. So, um, I mean, I'm grateful. I'm glad that I've, I've cut things down to $90 with commissions. Uh, you know, I don't know, 120 down 130 somewhere right on there. I'm not quite sure what the commissions are. Um, but yeah, just not, not a good day, not because it was a red day, but because I, mentally, I, I don't think I was really here. It, it didn't quite feel right. And the fact that this is uh, right now, I'm at over 34 minutes on a video. I, I, I don't remember. 
remember the last time, I don't know if I've even ever had a 34 minute live trade video, but, and I don't even know how many trades I made today. I think it had been over 10, wasn't it? I, I have no idea. And that's that's not a good sign. That That's a cl that's a sign that it was a clown fiesta. So that's all I have for you. Um, yeah, I'll need to reflect on this. Again, this is real time while I'm saying all this. Um, so I'm not saying this in hindsight. So I, don't, I, I wish I had a better conclusion right now. But in the heat of the moment, I'm not going to commit that I should have stopped trading, but uh, that that's a very real possibility of the the conclusion that I that I come to. But yeah, I think I'm, that's what I'll probably name this video, Clown Fiesta. So if anything, I if you enjoy the transparency, if you appreciate that, hit the like button, uh, say thanks, tell me what you traded, and hopefully you had a better day, but hitting the like button, leaving a comment, uh, really does help out the channel and communicates to me that you like these live trade videos. And as long as I know that you are liking, I will continue to make them. So yeah, today was quite the Clown Fiesta. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.